Hello and welcome to another edition of the Good Vibe Show with me, Vivek Atre. Today, I really have to say that this is the most special moment for me because I have my childhood hero, Mr. Gundappa Vishwanath here today and it is a dream come true. Sir, it's a warm welcome to you. Thank you very much. So nice and uh, thanks for calling uh, especially to Chandigarh. It's a long, long time I've come back to Chandigarh. It's probably, I think, somewhere mid-90s. I was the chairman of the selection committee then. Yes. So I came here for one day cricket uh, match, you know. So after that, I'm here now. Thanks to you. Thank Thanks you so much, sir, for coming. We are here to celebrate your book, yeah. Rest Assured, and we are going to talk about it. But before that, let me take you back straight to your first test match. And when the captain, Mr. Patodi, he decided that you will bat at number four, it probably came as a bit of a news to you as we were discussing. So tell me your thoughts in that moment when you went out to bat for the first time for India. Well, being a you know, not just looking forward to play the test match. Uh, well, because I was not in uh, 15 also in the first test when uh, they played at uh, Bombay uh, was because uh, just about two, three months before that uh, New Zealand team had come uh, to play a three test series against us. And uh, I was in the results of the last test match at Hyderabad, which uh, uh, we almost lost, but uh, mm. uh, you know, uh, thanks to the rain, so somehow we managed. <laughs> but I was in the 15. I thought when uh, within uh, two months or so, the Australian team, Bill Laurie's team, coming. So I thought at least being uh, in the 15, uh, the last test. So I should be. I, I will be in 15. I thought, but uh, you know how it, so you have to take it in your stride. That when I was not in 15. So I thought uh, that's the end of that series, particularly, that I'm not going to probably not to play in that uh, right. series. Uh, but it so happened that second test, uh, you know, because I was I was I watched the match because being there, I thought uh, let me watch the test match. I mean, it will never come, probably never come to you again to watch. You know, it was it was like that for me. But anyway, I, so after that end of the. Uh, test match, I came to know that I am in uh, Kanpur test. Right. So that's where it started that, uh, you know, um, come to Indian team again. It was a big, uh, big thing for me, like youngsters like me. Then when I went there, I, I, I came to know that uh, our captain, he, he certainly said that if you are taking uh, this boy Vishwanathi, I want him to be in the eleven. Otherwise, don't waste his. Uh, uh, you know, don't. Uh, otherwise, don't take him. You know, don't take him. Yeah. Up, right. Uh, and so it was like that. Then um, in the day of the match, uh, uh, I saw the uh, team when uh, uh, Patawdi said that this is the team. So I, my name was there. Yes. So I was thrilled. Of course, you know, so no hands and the two in the eleven. <laughs> and uh, so I thought, okay, I just, you know, hope uh, uh, we feel first. I thought, you know, because, get you know, sense. yeah, so to get used to that atmosphere yes, yes, and, yes, you know, yes. and um, so I waited, uh, but um, after the toss, uh, the captain came inside the dressing room and he said, we are batting. So he just put the names, uh, you know, and they sort of, uh, he pasted it on the, this sort of the notice board, you know, you call it. So then I went there, I thinking that you know, being a youngster, uh, I thought number five or six, by uh, batting number. So, but I, when I went there, I saw uh, my name was number four. Number four. <laughs> yeah, and um, it, it was a bit surprise for me. And the, so then it started, you know, how the butterflies. Ah. Uh, but. Uh, it was not so much so, you know, because I was just thinking what to do now, you know, I'm uh, anyway batting, so uh, I hope I don't get to bat soon, you know, <laughs> or everything get into your and mind. what score did you go out to bat? Do you roughly remember the total? Yeah, it was a good partnership between uh, uh, Ashok and uh, Wadeka, yes. you know, because uh, Farooq got out a bit early uh, and uh, Ashok and Ajit, they had good good partnership 
then uh, I went into bat. Uh, I mean, when uh, you, once you go there, you know, the, all the butterflies will just fly off uh, from your stomach. Uh, I went there, but uh, fortunately, unfortunately, that I got out for zero. Yes. And then when I coming back, uh, the crowd was really, really after me. Uh, you know how the. Uh, it's, it was in Kanpur, Kanpur. and uh, they can be unforgiving. Yeah, well, because youngster, they expected so much. I mean, I don't blame them. I'll come to that point, uh, you know. And um, the crowd was, uh, you know, uh, there, you know, during uh, uh, whenever they want, feel like having a cup of tea, they'll have it that matkas, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. in UP side, that's a yeah, famous thing. Cooler. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, they used to have that the whole crowd, and then once coming back. They, they literally threw that, uh, you know, uh, this thing on me. Oh, uh, I mean, uh, 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 fortunately, it didn't come and hit me. But uh -huh, uh, I could uh -huh. see that they are booing and, you know. Uh -huh. I felt uh, sort of, you know, uh, and that that particular night I couldn't sleep. And then next two nights as well, you know, thinking about that incident. That's uh, zero, you human zero. after all. I mean, well, yeah, yeah I, you know, because oh, yeah, yeah. it's not that the public are after me because for my own uh, this thing yeah. I was thinking that you know I got a chance I messed it up yeah. you know that, that was in my mind that's it not about uh, the crowd or uh, they are throwing all this you know it never occurred to me that uh, they are eating me but uh, but then history was made in the sir, second inning so it, what happened then yes so again you know second innings uh, I was watching thoroughly they had another good partnership so I was watching I, I didn't even get up from my seat I padded up everything, you know, even though number four. So I always padded up when they were opening. beginning. Yeah, beginning. Mm -hmm. So I was watching, I, I didn't move from my chair. Say so halfway through, I just, somebody tapped, uh, you know, from my, behind. And I just uh, looked uh, like this, you know, not fully. Then I saw Patawdi. Uh -huh. He tapped and he said, relax, boy, you're go going to get a hundred. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yeah. I mean, he didn't mean that I'm going to get a hundred, but that tapping and uh, encouragement. Yeah, that you know that the whole uh, body, uh, you know, so much I, uh, relaxation I had. Yeah. It's unbelievable that Un particular time. Yeah. That one tap, re you know, just relax everything. That's go, so important. Go get up. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it totally, uh, you know, believe me, the whole uh, body it, it became different. For me. It's and so the it, mind, the yes, mind. It was so heavy before. Yes. So once I heard that, it's sort of this thing, you know, everything become so loose and as if you know uh, I'm fit and you know, yes. Tension gone. Yes. And uh, so I, then I went into bat after some time. Uh, uh, I think uh, Wadaker got out and then I went into bat. It was not. So the first innings was, yeah, you know, I said, okay, that butterfly, once you go there, halfway through, you go. but this time is much more. Much more. Because zero behind mm, me. Mm, baggage. Yes, <laughs> yes. And, you know, so from getting up, going to the pitch, I was thinking so much, what will happen if I score another, another zero? zero? Natural, quite you know, natural. That will come into my, you know, I'm a human being. Mm. If anyone says that, no, 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 or oh, I'll get a hundred and, you know, it's all, he's just lying. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. some batsman saying, I like fast bowling. No, no, no. Nobody <laughs> likes fast Nobody bowling. Nobody likes fast bowling. Yeah, and if he's saying so, he's bullshitting. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Nobody likes facing fast bowling. Yes, <laughs> yes. So, you know, then I, when I played the first ball, I hit it in the middle, that confidence, you know, you get it. Yes. You know, that also relaxed me and, but still, I wanted to get a run. Yeah, yeah, the first run, first absolutely. Run, you know, I want to You remember get, that first run? Yeah, I wanted to get that very badly because I want to get away from the zero. Right. So, after uh, uh, third or fourth ball, I was facing uh, McKenzie ball. I could see that he still uh, is in in front of my eyes. Mm -hmm. He bowled on the middle stump, going down the leg. I just glanced it, beautifully glanced. <laughs> and it went straight to the defined leg, but I got a you know, single. Single. That relaxed me total. Then again, that went back straight to the captain's talk, ah. you know. 
so i think uh, i i got away from that and duck. Uh, uh, yeah duck and then you know the I, i don't know i think i can say that one of the best ever 100 i got it because of so much uh, tension uh, so much into it that first test and you know that particular innings gave me and then when i scored 137 and i got out coming back the same uh, crowd ah right they all stood up and there was no matkas in their <laughs> hand is nothing but two two hands clapping joining joining together about 30 40 000 people oh wow oh my god that feeling i will never forget and that night again i i couldn't sleep because i got a hundred excitement excitement the same crowd it went back to my first innings and now again so i that that's why i said it first it tested itself i i came to know so much about the game the experience you know because same crowd they were booing in the first inning same crowd they were you know cheering me that's all if you score runs they are with you if you don't they are not with, don't say that they are not with you but they are also you know being fans of you they are disappointed is- because of that they they do it's not that they want to throw mud cars at you right. or any youngster it's not that because they are disappointed because you didn't do well so that's got into my mind and i thought that's it that experience i'll never forget throughout my career i kept it this answer of vishy sir gives us a microcosm of life in itself life is about ups and downs the boos in the first innings the accolades in the second innings and as a young batsman he experienced that up and down of life in one test match now sir one of my seniors mr lalit sharma senior is officer he once said to me he said events which are now in the past were then in the future so when you were a child you had not played your first test match let's go back to that and now as a senior person looking back at that test match what were your feelings as a child growing up as a cricketer wanting to be a cricketer in short and now what are your feelings of satisfaction looking back well as any youngster you know once you start playing any game for that matter straight away you don't think that you are going to play bigger whatever so any game I'm talking about you know you don't think of playing for india straight away you know it's it's a step by step it comes but the game whichever you take it from then onwards you feel that you know but you if you stick to one game but you you I know being that that age you can't pick <laughs> you don't know what you're going to yes play. you you know you start playing it's uh, obvious uh, this thing to any any kid he wants to play every game whatever what were he you sees. playing sir i was playing all you know like uh, i of course i started uh, with tennis ball cricket and then then i was playing football as football. goalie and um, my favorite was uh, table tennis in the sense because of course little later because i started that because of getting my eyesight mm-hmm. you know someone said that uh, if you play uh, table tennis and uh, you know If you really good. apply yourself yeah, yeah, yeah. that's good for your eyes you know i mean I, i in the end i once i started doing that then you know how much it helped me i can easily get back to that once oh, i started playing table tennis yes, yes that yes. really helped me that really helped yeah so i mean what i trying to say is so you you all these things it comes into your mind you play all those things yeah. but that particular time the people around the you know they start talking about you uh-huh. in the sense you know he looks this fellow looks uh, good yeah he should he, play <laughs> he should play and should continue you know play more of this and more yeah, of instead yeah, of yeah. that because he so much if he concentrate on one game and he will you know come up uh, fast and things like that. so that it happens to it happened to you also yeah in the sense people starting hey he looks good as a batsman yeah i hope he takes it uh, cricket seriously, seriously about his batting so that hits me so and you that, started enjoying it also yeah enjoying it i started playing more of cricket than others right. other uh, sports so once you st- started playing you know you still you don't feel you know that you're going to play that level or so you just feel like 
step by step if you start coming up that itself that particular time it's good for you that's right that's right yeah so i i took it as you know that, that people started talking about me that really uh, you know i took it seriously that was in my mind so i must people are talking about me so let me concentrate <laughs> give the, too much instead of other games instead of uh, going like this go to this game right, particularly right, so right, right. i took and it seriously and now sir looking back that career in cricket <coughs> i mean if you can just fast forward to the present day you played for india you had highs and lows we in chandigarh in north india in the whole of india in the cricketing world they love you so that sense of accomplishment at having gone through that journey how does it feel to be mr gundappa vishwanath it's absolutely brilliant i am even now you know I, i'm thrilled you you when you are talking about gundappa vishwanath if you you know i feel still people are talking about me why because i played this game at a higher level at which i wanted to play from the beginning and when i in the middle when i was playing people you know not only talking and the other uh, the critics they started writing about me and people of where, wherever i went recognizing me oh, that gave me even now if i think about that you know i get goosebumps <laughs> no because of why because of this game which i i liked it from the beginning and i played at higher level and now i am watching same thing uh, you know that level cricket i uh, still enjoying it uh, that is still i mean that love, know, uh, that the love yeah. and the thrill of which i am getting mm. watching the game is unbelievable the vibes i can feel in this room with the good vibe show are so full of love and elation at the moment that high yeah. and if you talk about you talk about playing at the highest level some people play at the highest level but some people play at a great level and we used to talk of i mean mr wang sarkar mr guy quad were all part of the team but as child as a child i knew that my favorites were mr gavaskar and mr vishwanath and the two of you that bonding that relationship please talk about that and he always says he is quarter inch taller than you which we don't know for a fact so talk about that also <laughs> your relationship with him your partnership with him and of course his family also for you talk about the both of you together it's unbelievable you know it's uh, it just started because i just played one, one series before he played he toured in 71 to yeah. west indies yeah. and before that uh, uh, i was just talking about my debut against australia billari side so that's the only uh, you know uh, difference between us that four test i played before, before. it doesn't mean that doesn't i am uh, uh, somewhere else or something because <laughs> the whole world knows how he started yeah. in 71 yeah, yeah, yeah. tour of west indies 770 runs in four no test matches yeah, yeah. i mean yeah, if you don't have uh, a talent like that you won't score just like yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. and he didn't do just one series but the same with you yeah. so that but somehow we wanted you to have more partnerships together no well we are having <laughs> yeah we, we are for like yes oh. going very strong you mm-hmm. know that's but uh, the first test itself when we played together because he didn't play the first test there because he had some uh, problem he didn't play the first test i didn't play the first two tests there because i had knee problem mm-hmm. so third test of the series at uh, guyana guyana so that was the first test between uh, between us playing both of you and we got a 100 partnership partnership okay great <laughs> yeah we showed that you know we can have partnerships yeah two tiny men <laughs> but is he taller than you or are you taller than him uh, no, he is he is he always you know how he compares uh, uh, because this this uh, sofa is little low so i i am touching uh, my both the feet to the floor the <laughs> right now yeah yeah but any any other uh, this thing so far said is little higher when we sit together mm. he he always says my my uh, you know feet are touching the ground but i'll be like this you know <laughs> you know, I'm, i'm trying to reach but i am not so because you can you can see who is taller even now it makes it and because that half an inch 
He's we taller. don't dispute it anyway. We don't <laughs> I can't, dispute it. <laughs> I can't because he's taller. <laughs> and he has more runs than you, so even of that course, we cannot dispute. I mean, I'll never talk about his cricket. Is, but I mean, talk about his cover drive, your square drive. Sir, we want to get a little technical now. Gavaskar through the covers, I mean, and the straight drive also. I mean, just supreme. You with your wrists and your book is also called Wrist Assured. What is it about the him and you that made you special batsman? It's not only, you know, uh, for my square cut or his uh, straight drive. No, basically, he's a complete all-round player I have seen. In the beginning, he played all the shots in the book. Hooks also. Hooks also. And it was complete, you know, any any shot, even including square cut, he played with, with you know, the technically the best. But, you know, once he started getting out, I mean, once, first time he started hooking, he got out. Then he said, no, I don't want to play that shot because it's a bit risky. Being a short, you know, a, a batsman, yeah. to keeping it down mm. is not easy. So, mm. he cut down that and then the square cut, because it's horizontal, you have to play. Yeah. So, the contact with the ball is yeah. limited so, compared you know, because to… Because he shows yeah. complete, complete you know, full blade yeah, yeah. to the bowler. So, that's why he cut down that horizontal shots. But whenever required, he always played that flick. One of the best, you know, through square leg and no mid wicket. No doubt. So he, he he had, he's got every shot, but at being, as you said, you know, those days it's Gavaskar means you know, especially opening the innings. If he doesn't get runs, it's always a a, a challenge for the middle order batsman, and he has to be there. So because of that, he cut down all the shots for the team. For the team. Yeah. No, no, great, sir. You know, totally great. Then, you know, then once after playing so much cricket, then he decided that one innings of at Delhi when he scored the 2900. Um, Malcolm Marshall and yeah, and, and yeah, yeah. the company. Yeah, yeah. He hooked and hooked, he hooked and hooked and hooked on Firoshra Kotla. I remember. Yes, wearing He's, a skull cap. Yeah. Uh, he scored uh, 100 and uh, 120 balls or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what do you think? No, absolutely. But so yeah. you, you were always meant for a little bit of uh, artistry on this. Now let's talk about your stroke play. I <laughs> no, mean, whether on the onside or offside, you were a magician. Your risks, of course, we don't need to get into the how you made those risks. But what was it that made you a little more aggressive? And what was it talking about your own style? No, basically I'm a uh, you know, stroke player. Stroke player. Yeah. So that made me into uh, play my shots from the beginning. It's not that you know you get settled down or something like that, because I've seen the bowlers when they bowl fast bowlers, especially they come and bowl right line and length straight away. Straight away. Because they practice, or even before the match. You know, they bowl about 20 balls or so, full right, speed. Right. And when the match starts, they are there already. Right. So, like that, why not batsmen? Why not batsmen? First ball, they will be Yeah, ready. so, you know, so I, but I never ever uh, batted in the nets doing the test match or first class match. Okay, okay, sir. I never put a pads on. Pads on. on. Only just, uh, you know, I asked, uh, yeah, just uh, ask someone to bow, you know, hit, uh, or throw the ball throw also. Yeah. About 15, 20 balls, you know, I hit in the middle, that's good enough. I thought, okay, I'm, I'm set. Yeah. So, if I go in the middle, if I get half folly, if I feel like playing that shot, I'll play. It's not that, you know, he has to settle down, people are there. They think, you know, uh, so it's your own philosophy. Yes, it's your way but it's not it. that, you know, I'm so and so I can play. It's uh, not like that. Not but, like that. Not like but that. my mindset is, you know, is always like that. If it's there to hit, I hit it. I might have got out uh, first ball, but uh, like so many great cricketers, they got out first ball. No, but 6,000 plus test runs and one day cricket was not there much. Not much. You yeah. would have excelled, I'm sure. 
your fielding position was mainly in the slips yes but i also saw you fielding in near the boundary at times yes. i'm sure you would have been a great all round cricketer i didn't see you bowling much but did you bowl in the first class cricket yes i got 15 uh, ranji trophy wicket oh that's great i got one test wicket ah so they like your uh, brother in law he also got one i think yes yeah, he got zaira bas <laughs> he got zaira bas in uh, pakistan yes yeah. sir coming back to your career what was the biggest high and who was your what was your favorite moment apart from the first test century there are quite a few you know like uh, we had lovely series uh, against west indies 74 5 yes sir when um, west indies under uh, clive lloyd team came to a five test series we lost first two we won third and fourth and it was a sixth day test you know bombay we, which we lost there yes uh, that you know i thought that was the best series i played 74 but again in 77 8 in uh, australia when bobby simpson came back after 10 years or so to yes. captain the side yes, because yes, of yes. Uh, kerry packer uh, you know most of the 3 2 uh, result yeah again the same thing same which thing. we lost uh, first two and then third and fourth and then um, the last test at adelaide we are supposed to get 495 lost by 45 runs or something yeah we scored 450 or something even uh, mr bedi made some runs in there yeah, i remember that in 97 yeah, yeah, we yeah, made yeah. Uh, we had 50 partnership with uh, with vision bedi yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah yeah so you know that and plus of course nothing like 71 tour of west indies and uh, oh. uh, uh, england and tour of spain uh, in 74 sir that victory 76 76 yeah 400 course, yeah. 400 plus runs absolutely uh, you no know, these are all uh, uh, it's unbelievable you can't forget and it's not that you know because we most of the time we were winning the series except uh, you know the, the last test of two series which yeah, i yeah. but 71 in west indies mm. then 71 in uh, the oval oval oh that you know when we came back from the oval that reception which we got mm. if anyone forget they say that you know i forgot that <laughs> he's again he's lying which I, i said earlier you know somebody yeah. is fooling around you know that yeah. reception which we got from the from the aircraft till we reached uh, wankade stadium yes it's you know we're not wankade brabant stadium Brabham you know stadium. it's you know throughout the the crowd on the street put the sides and uh, we were on uh, a motorcade open yeah vehicle yeah oh it's, it it took us at least 3 4 days for all the players to come down to the earth <laughs> you <know>. yeah it was <laughs> somewhere it was unbelievable but so well deserved because the country yeah. was starved for good news we yeah. went through tough times as a country yes, it was a yes. time when people were a little as we say in north india bichara we used to feel a little imit- yeah. intimidated by the westerners we used to be used to losing yeah. a draw was like a victory it was a different era yeah. yeah so i think it is time for us now when we are expecting our team to win it is a different era but you went through that tough time what do you feel about the evolving india now when we are more confident do you wish you would have played now or were you happy that you played in that era i think i'm very much happy what you know i'm not saying just because you know the we all enjoyed playing that kind of uh, cricket yeah, you know because this 2020 is there is is settled down i mean the whole world plays that of yeah, course yeah, yeah. this generation those who are watching they enjoying it it's you know so you can't take away anything from them right but the cricket which we played is a different era and different type of cricket and that 71 victory of both west indies and you know like in 83 the world cup which he won how it changed the entire scenario for indian cricket right for t- for test cricket for india i i i, I think uh, i don't think it's I, it's true that 71 71 yeah absolutely that changed truly. the scenario for test cricket for india truly sir mm. and coming to the crux of it who has been your favorite batsman to watch from another team if you i could ask you one although it might be a tough one to point out one and today who is the batsman who impresses you more well i mean playing days here sunil you know i, I, I 
we were but very But from close. another team, any other team? Nothing, nothing. I mean, it's just only one. Okay. Uh, Wave Richards. Wave Richards. Sir, Wave Richards, the king. The king. You know, why I'm telling you this? Because I saw him from the first test. When he started, he played at Bangalore. Against India. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 74, right? From then onwards, till he retired, even though I retired, uh, Before. retired up, yeah, but after that, I never missed his innings uh -huh. and throughout, and not even once he changed his uh, cricket. Yeah, always attacking. Always, always. attacking, yeah. any attack. Mm. Any pitch. And he, he was the king. He was the king. He you could know, scare the bowlers. <laughs> and he, he played like that. That's what I, I, you know, from word go, he didn't get many runs in the first test. Mm -hmm. He got out both the times, yeah. Chandra. Yeah. Yeah. But next test, he scored 191 at Delhi. Mm -hmm. So that, that then he started, he started attacking our spinners, yeah. second test itself. And then off, later on, he went to Australia. He, he, he played against Lily and Thompson, then all the other fast bowlers everywhere. In uh, local cricket, he played against uh, Holding and Roberts, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, but for the, everybody, he, he never ever, you know, he changed his game. He was the king and he England was. particularly, he took a liking to them, he used to bash them around. He always Century liked Century in about 50-something balls yeah, in a test match. Yeah. But sir, today? Today, I love to watch Virat. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah lovely, lovely. Uh, you know, but he still he's got little. You know, he carries on, on still outside the off stump. I mean, I'm not saying any this thing, you know, but, but you know, he's still little one for that. Who is not? Who is not outside the off stump? You know. Yeah, it's, but uh, it's great to watch in all format. You know, very rarely he plays uh, false shot. Yes. You know, in the all sense, cricketing all shots. cricketing shots. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you see him any uh, big success and all? Not many. Only once he settled down, then you know, in the end, he tried to hit the sixes, which he, you know. That's right. But no, otherwise, all cricketing and beautiful. I mean, he, he, he proved himself that all formats he got runs and uh, lovely. Great always. modern bat. Yeah. Now, sir, so switching gears, what has been the contribution of your family to your success, happiness? Just talk about that. You know, uh, once it started from Sunil, then the family. Uh, even now he says, he always says that don't invite your friends when if you have sisters at home. <laughs> <laughs> he tells his friends. So that's what, what I mean. I didn't. That's how you got married. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, I said, look, I didn't invite myself. You only called me. That's how I saw your sister. Uh -huh. So that's where it started, you know. And then we became friends. Uh, and then, uh, of course, uh, in relation with marrying. Yeah, sister, and then we, you know, we were so much close, so much close after that. Even because my wife always tells that because she saw her uncle, that is her mother's brother, who played for India, right? Miss Madhav Mantri, Madhav he toured in yeah, 50, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the test cricket is already there before uh, Sunil started in the family, in the family, <laughs> and you know, it started from there. Yes. And then Sunil played, of course, Sunil later, uh, uh, Rohan played for India one day cricket. Yes, yes. So yes. it's all in the family, but uh, she she knew that, you know, how much to sacrifice if you marry a sports person and especially cricketer. So she understood from the beginning and it's, uh, uh, you know, that's how it, um, we carried on. It's still carrying on. It's 43 years gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I said. You know, the partnership which everyone says <laughs> that you you never had with uh, Sunil in the middle. We don't worry about middle, but we're still carrying on off the field. Still <laughs> longest partnership. Longest partnership. Beautiful still partnership. Still, still going strong. No doubt, sir. Yeah. <laughs> and sir, the young generation. Devik is your son. The young man, uh, looking up to you, very bright like you, and yeah. very nice uh, to talk to. But the youth of India, what is your message for him and other young people? What should they look forward to in life? Look, whatever they do, they just, you know, they, 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 they have to think about that, what they're doing. Sincerity, work hard. It's not only, uh, you know, uh, uh, any walk of life I'm talking about. You don't have to play any sports to become a sort of, uh, you know, whatever you do, sincerity is must. Must. Yes, 
that you know the hard work there is no substitute for hard work any walk of life very true sir. that will that will take you what you want to achieve and it will certainly uh, you will reach 100% with uh, everything behind you yes, if you sir. work on it that's what i always tell uh, my younger uh, ones yes, yes younger yes, ones yes sir yes sir sir your book has encapsulated all this and more it will be a pleasure for me to pose with you and uh, we have a picture for your book yeah uh, sure lovely rest assured oh, and then sir. we also have uh, my book to present to you oh. so we just smile for the camera i think and there sir over there we'll just thank you and lovely. sir thank i would you. like to present you a copy of my book oh lovely sir which also we can yeah heard so much about it and certainly i'm going to finish in 2 3 days but sir thank the title much. let me tell you it's oh. still a wonderful life of course applies more to you it's a wonderful life that you have led thank and you. i am so delighted to have had you my, on the show my pleasure. it's a brilliant conversation thank good okay. vibes all through thank you very much for watching and see you soon again